Pisces, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by. This is your reading, general reading, for July of 2021. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan, Pisces. Beautiful. Neptune just went retrograde, so looks like you're going to have a little bit of a break here. Time to collaborate. Nice energy. Really sweet energy. And sometimes life stings. And let spirit be your guide. Okay, so Pisces, there's some mystery of some sort going on. But trust spirit. The plan it will work out. Okay. It does look like you're going to go through some changes with that, you know, sometimes life stings card. It's a wasp. So there may be a surprise in store for you, and I get wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay. Nice energy, Pisces. Okay, so let's dig in and see what all that's about. Let's look and see. We're using the wisdom of the oracle, I mean, the wisdom of the tarot deck. All right, so let's see. So for our Pisces friends, we're going to do a 10-card Celtic. I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to give you the table shot because I know you like it so that when we clarify, okay? So the chariot card. So you're moving forward with great enthusiasm. You're moving slowly, methodically. The chariot card is a snail, so you're taking your time to get to your destination. We have judgment. Ooh, Pisces, what will you release? What will you let go? What will you decide? That is Scorpio energy and Cancer energy. So you are about to make a major decision. The Ace of Wands to try something new. Ace of Wands is creative energy. It's exciting. It's Aries energy. Fire sign energy. What do we have in the recent past for you? Ooh, strategy. You're very, very smart, Pisces. You are looking at somebody or something or a situation in which you would like to move towards them with great uh, wisdom. We see the samurai looks into the distance to see what the pitfalls to make a plan. So it does look like you're planning for the future. Ooh, here you are, the emperor card. You are very good with people, Pisces. Whatever it is that's going on in your career, this does look like you're making a strategic move. It looks like you have some management skills. It looks as though the Hermit card, a lot of you work alone, uh, but it does look like you have to manage like places, people, almost like shipping, you know, like where is the package today or what's going on. You look like you take a leadership role even when you're working alone in how things, how you deliver your goods or services. Five of Wands says that you feel very conflicted right now, that you really feel as though this may not be what you want to do long term. And with that card of the Samurai Warrior energy, that King of Swords, you look like you are, you really are seeking uh, the limelight. There is some sort of skill that you have in which there's a lot of competition. It does look like for some of you, you might be in the entertainment business. You know, sometimes people in entertainment have, you know, two different work styles because it's sort of a, it's contract work. I don't know what it is with me and these cards. I'll be right back. They always seem to go flying over my shoulder, but anyway, I digress. The Knight of Cups energy, there is something that you have a sweet spot in your heart for, a very dreamy, romantic Pisces, that's your energy. The Page of Wands says that you're really ready to throw caution to the winds and move into some new area of your, it looks like your career. The full card says that you may be lured into a situation that is not in your best interest, so you need to be careful because that's clarifying. The full card is clarifying the, the chariot card. Let me go ahead and give you the table shot, okay? So the full is clarifying the, the, the uh, Cancerian chariot. So it does look like you may move. You may want to move. You were, you're doing it very thoughtfully. You're doing it with a lot of deliberation. 
The judgment card looks like decisions and plans have already been made in this arena. The Six of Wands, you have a victory. The Devil card says that for some reason you feel as though you can't really be who you want to be, when you want to be that person, or it looks like there's a devil, a devil energy around your plans, around your ability to move forward. So you're feeling restricted. Capricorn energy, again, is very much career energy, but it looks as though there's something about you feeling held back. The strategy that you're using, ooh, Ace of Swords energy. So it looks as though whatever it is that you're doing, you've done before, you certainly have established yourself in the environment of this. It looks like entertainment. I will say straight up, it does look like entertainment. Um, the Ace of Swords says that you're very good at what you do. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay, and it also says that you're very strategic with that energy. Um, so it does say that you have a very clear view of what has to be done, Pisces. That's how it's coming up. These cards are a bit of a mess here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, sorry about that. Okay. So let's see what we have here for the Emperor card. I'm not going to use reversals because I've dumped these cards all over, so I'm just going to put them up right. Okay, so the clarifier here is that you feel as though you're, I would almost say there's some stage fright. Some of you have this wonderful ability. You're able to really sort of hold all these people on a string like an entertainer, but it looks as though you have some fear or you're all up in your head. So it looks like a little bit of stage fright or a little bit like when all eyes are on you. It's almost like a feeling of uh, discomfort. Why else do we have that? The world card. It looks as though whatever you do, you feel as though you dropped out for a while. And what we're seeing here is that you want to get back into the fray. I love it. Beautiful. Why is the hermit card here? The Three of Wands, okay, the Three of Wands. Your ships have come in. The Hermit card says that you're searching for answers about how to manifest this. What is this competition card about? The Five of Wands is ego-centered, ego-driven competition. I'm getting, oh good, Knight of Pentacles. You really are a solid player in the field of whatever it is that you're doing. You're very good at it. We see the Seven of Wands. It looks as though it looks as though you're very competitive. And it almost looks as though people try to emulate you or copy you, but nobody can really do it. It's like you want to break out of your restrictions though and get into this energy. You really do want to change your life dramatically. You feel as though you've really been dogged by, you know, outside circumstances. The Temperance card with the Knight of Cups card says that you're going to return to an old love. And I feel as though that love is something, a career, uh, once again, something very magical. You know, when we look at Koala's spirit, spirit has a plan. Which one was it? That was one that was magic. Okay. So, Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. So, it does look as though sometimes, yeah, sometimes life stings. So, what I am getting here is that you are in a very spiritual place. You definitely know that there's pitfalls. You definitely know that there will be obstacles and things to overcome. But you are really ready. That beautiful Page of Wands energy is the energy of throwing caution to the winds. You're doing your homework. You're studying the situation. And so the energy is that Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads right now. The Emperor card repeats itself. You have mastery over the situation. You have the wisdom to know that there are pitfalls. You're, de you're really moving very deliberately. Let's see what the... Um, I'm going to look at Wisdom of the Oracle for you. Gorgeous energy. It does look like you're circling back to do something that you are very good at at another time in your life or a dream that you let fall dormant because of circumstances. And I'm getting there's like this a rebirth. Yes, the change is in the wind. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? A change is in the wind. 
And all that glitters is not gold. So the, I really like this because what we're seeing here is that you also know that the work really requires, it's not what it seems. That to a lot of people it would be easy, it would be like, oh, hocus pocus, you know, uh, you know, make glitter gold. But what we're seeing here is you're very grounded. You have a really strong understanding of what it takes to win in this environment. To be fair, you really are a team player. You're very respectful of other people. Let's look and see what the sacred destiny is going to tell you about this journey that you're on in the month of July. All right, so let's see for our beautiful Pisces friends. Okay, we have illumination. Okay, so whatever the pitfalls are, it's going to be illuminated on how to have your abundance. And the last card out is Inner Peace. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Good luck. Leave some comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.